Hello, today I'm going to show you um, how I built my new control box. Uh, this is the old box, the one that I'm replacing. And um, I'm going to replace all the insides and, uh, and have a totally whole new system. Alright, I start with the frame of the box. I'm using uh, 15 millimeter plywood. And I start with the back. And I'm going with sort of a unique shape not just a square box. You'll see why in a little bit here. Here are the two sides. And um, I'll give you the dimensions probably at the end of this video. Uh, when building these things, you know, everybody needs to build it uh, for what their needs are, uh, for the size of their location, for what they plan on putting inside it. Um, this, is, this is just how I built mine for, uh, for what I have planned. Okay, the idea is I'm actually going to automate my system using a uh, computer. So in the box I'm actually going to have the computer be able to fold out of the uh, front of the box. So I used my old uh, laptop. This is about 13 year old laptop. Still works. Doesn't have internet or anything but um, I have to use an external mouse with this computer. The uh, mouse pad doesn't work anymore. But anyway, uh, for what I need it for it'll work perfect. Um, this is how I mount the door. I use a pipe and I use um, just regular EMT clamps. I end up using, uh, I change these clamps out for clamps that clamp have a screw hole on both sides to make it stronger. And then I recess out the uh, back side of the door so that it doesn't hit when it opens. And what happens is, is by using this bar in this manner, it allows it to have a natural, when it opens up, it has a natural stop. So here's the computer sitting on, on it to, to show you the uh, dimensions and how it's going to fold up. The next thing I did was stain and varnish the box. I used a UV varnish to uh, help protect it from the sun. Also I siliconed all the uh, inside corners and you can see the hole at the top that's going to be where the wires come in from all the external devices. Here's the computer mounted. I made a couple of uh, brackets that hold it in position just out of some metal. Uh, the, uh, the top here you'll see I have a piece of strapping that keeps the computer door from hitting the back when it closes. And also you can see the little piece of wood that I have on the side here that holds the piston that allows the door to operate smoothly. The hinges I used on this uh, allow the door to close flush with the box and I can use a seal around that. I also used a screw here on the front side of the computer monitor to keep it from folding out when you uh, open it. I used a key lock on the top here that I installed, just a regular key lock with a, with a little uh, piece of metal that comes down and catches the door and here it is actually operating. I used a piece of 4 inch PVC that I had for my a scrap piece that I had for my vertical uh, garden and so I'm going to end up using that to help ventilate my box. I will use a, a small 12 volt fan that will draw air up through, the, um, through this pipe and it will ventilate my battery box. I separated the battery box with a divider and it's right at the bottom of where the uh, main box lid top part comes down and then goes straight down. Here I am installing the 4 inch, uh, this is just a regular uh, flange and I cut the hole out and then, like I said this is where I will install the uh, fan that will help ventilate the battery box. I plan on using a deep cycle uh, battery, 12 volt battery, to help the extend the life of the um, of this, this system when it uh, if it loses power. Okay now for the roof. The roof I make out of a 1 inch by 2 inch square stock to steel. I make an L first and then that goes inside the box. I cut a, a hole in the back, back part of the box and then I use uh, self-tapping screws to to install that and then I take the uh, EMT, half inch EMT and I bend it to the arc that I want and I need four of those all equal and this is the roof 
The roof is made out of a material I got from a friend that um, he got from a container. It's a um, it's div divisions for a container or something. It's like a, uh, I don't know, plexiglass or something. Anyway, um, also made the curves for the front, and then these are the sides. The sides I uh, make out of a little bit bigger so that it acts as a little rain shield on the sides. And the reason I use plywood in between that is because I'm going to mount uh, electrical outlets on the inside of this, and I can mount it to the plywood easily. This is where the grid tie inverters are going to go. I'm going to plan on having six eventually. I only have one right now. And they're all going to mount in this roof. And what I'll do is I'll have outlets set up inside the roof that I can plug the grid ties into, and then that'll run back into my main box, which ties into the house current. So I am uh, attach all this using metal screws and wood screws into the plywood. And here it is installed. I haven't painted it yet, but this is with the screws and, and all in the shape that I need it in. And as I come inside the box, you'll see I've already got an outlet mounted on one side. I'm going to have an outlet on the other side. And then I'll end up putting an outlet in the middle. So I'll be able to plug in six grid tie inverters. And then I plan on splitting the grid ties so that um, three will go into one phase of the house and three will go in the other phase of the house. I'll show you how to do that in a later video. I also want to put in windows. So right now I've marked out and I'm going to put in small windows so that I can see the uh, front of the grid tie inverters and uh, just monitor them and make sure they're working properly. So I had some uh, spare glass and I cut them into six squares and then I cut the four corners off the six squares to make them a little more of a rounded shape. So I cut a uh, test hole in the top of the uh, box and I'm going to silicone this piece of glass in place. I want to make sure that it's the right position for the grid tie so that I can see the, uh, the indicators on it. And so I use a silicone and just press it in place and I use a Later, I use a piece of tape to hold in position while it dries. This is how I made the, the holder that holds the grid ties, just out of some plywood. I'll end up painting these later. But you can see that uh, everything lines up. You can see the little indicator lights. And now it's time to lay out and cut the other five holes. Here they are cut and just have to install the glass.